Hi, it's Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at how we organise data once we've collected it. So we want to be able to put it into some kind of spreadsheet. Typically we'd use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, um, but there may be other programs that you use as well. So we, here's a few tips for you. So the very first row that you have, we want to put the name of that variable and the units in brackets. In that, in that variable because what that does is it helps us when we're drawing graphs and identifying it that we and we know what the variable is and sometimes I'll shorten it to just a short word rather than the whole sentence describing it so I might just say um, time rather than time to put a sock on um, so I can sometimes shorten that when I want to categorical data we will need to use identical wording in the same upper and lower case for every group that we have. So if I was talking about different species of kiwi bird, I'm talking about the great spotted kiwi. If I use a capital letter for great and spotted, then I need to, for every time I refer to the great spotted in that column, I need to use the same capital letters in exactly the same locations. Otherwise, um, the, it doesn't recognize that it's the same it treats it then as a different group and the same as if i've got an extra space on the end of it or before it that can then um, mean that it that the program will treat it as different to the other groups and numerical data we need to make sure that the cell has a number only in it so having the number seven is fine it recognizes that it's a number and knows how to treat it as numerical if I write seven centimeters, so I've put letters in there as well as the number, then the programs automatically recognize that as a category. And so I can't do any numerical analysis on it. I can only do categorical analysis on it. So that's a useful trip. So here's an example. And what I want you to notice is in that very first row there, I've got the name of the variable and the unit. So I've got wall sit time bracket seconds. So I've made sure that that first row is heading and when I copy this data later into NC Graffer, I'm going to copy that heading as well. I also want you to notice the third column there, the takes PE column. So that's a categorical variable and I want you to notice how I've used the words no and they're all lowercase and they're all exactly the same. They don't have an extra space at the start or the end of it. Um, they're not a mixture of some capitals, some lowercase. They need to be identical. The other thing I want you to notice is if I look at, say, the wall sit time, so the cells with the numbers in it, they only contain a number. So it doesn't contain the unit. That's why I put the unit up in the heading. Thanks for watching.